today we will talk about this topic existence is coexistence so in our monthly meetings we have been delivering keynote lectures and we started by uh, the very first uh, module of uh, the content of value education and gradually we have been discussing on all the topics and now we are trying to explore into the reality of existence we are trying to explore whether existence is coexistence or not uh, in the previous month dr veena had presented about the efforts that she made this year while uh, teaching the course of uhv to the students of iit kanpur before that we had the keynote lecture on uh, partly coexistence when we said that the completeness of right understanding takes place with realization of coexistence so today we are going to explore it further now this is something that we have come across multiple times in workshop in meetings and while we are conducting the sessions in the morning then we explored further in module 4 regarding existence so we will try to take up those issues also looking at the existence we are able to see that units are there and space is there space is there everywhere units are limited in size and we can see units all around us so as a human being i am also a unit the things in my room they are all units i can see the units outside my room i can see the units in the nature the physiochemical units i can see in the physical order by order we can see the birds the plants the animals isn't it all these are units and they are all they are in space looking closely we can see that they are submerged in space space is they are all pervading it is there everywhere without any limit and all these units are there this whole earth is also a unit and like this sir there are multiple units as celestial bodies in this whole universe there are planets there are stars there are multiple galaxies all these are units and they are there in space now i as a pure observer can observe how the units are submerged in space so looking closely i can see that every unit is energized being in space so starting from myself i can see that i am energized i have energy within me so when i'm talking to you you know i can see that i have energy within me i can think i can explore i can desire i can expect i can understand so i am energized my body is also energized isn't it the body is made up of so many organs organs are made up of so many tissues tissues are made up of so many cells and every cell is active the whole body is active this much we can see now going further we can also see that this body is active being in space the space is there at the base i am active being in space the space is there at the base every unit is self organized in space my body is self organized you see so many cells are there tissues are there organs are there and they are working cohesively in such a well organized manner you just put the food inside the mouth swallow it and the rest is taken care of by the body isn't it when i am speaking i am just deciding what to say what not to say isn't it and then my selection is passed on to the body and the body takes care of this selection by itself in a self organized manner the laptop you know, through which i am presenting the content is there as a self organized unit i switch it on you know, and the screen is there and i am able to share the content to you i can see that every unit around me is self organized we'll explore it further that these two these units are of two kinds material and consciousness the consciousness units have the activity of assuming isn't it and when we talk about the human order they also have the potential to know so i am able to see that i have the activity of assuming in me i can assume anything isn't it which may or may not be real so the moment i 
assume anything which is not there in line with coexistence i feel perturbed disturbed disharmonious and the moment my thought my feeling is in line with coexistence i feel at peace i feel harmony i feel that i am in harmony so i have the activity of assuming in me but if the assuming is based on knowing then only i feel harmony in me or in line with my natural acceptance then only i feel harmony in me otherwise there is disharmony in me and this way i am also self organized so the conscious units are also self organized the material units are also self organized i can also see that i am related to each and every unit around me there is a relationship there i am related to my body i am related to the gadget in front of me i am related to you i cannot see the face of any one of us in this meeting but i feel myself related to you isn't it how i am related to you what is the base what is the basis of all this how do i feel related i have see that the feeling of relationship is acceptable to me naturally within me for every human being what is the basis of this how do i feel related to every human being how do i feel related to birds plants animals so what is the base what is the basis of all this i can see that i feel related to the other being submerged in space the space is there at the base and it's not only me my body is also related to me my body is related to the other units in this nature each and everything in this nature is related to each and every other thing in the nature being in space the units are recognizing the relationship fulfilling the relationship with every other unit being in space so on the face of it we can say that yes every unit is organized but we may not be able to see that every unit is organized uh, uh, energized being in space we can see that yes every unit is self organized in a certain manner but we may not be able to see that by virtue of being in space every unit is self organized and a similar thing holds true for the relationship also but when i keep on observing when i keep on exploring investigating within me the reality of this existence i can see that being in space every unit is energized self organized and participating in the larger order fulfilling the relationship this is submergence this is submergence this is coexistence and at the level of realization in me i can see very clearly that this whole existence is coexistence so existence is all that exists being self organized means being in a definite order being in harmony having definite conduct and since it is self organized therefore it can be identified understood we can be discussed it can be shared we can be assured of it isn't it are you able to see this are you able to see this you can respond in the chat box if any question is there please raise your hand we'll try to make it as interactive as possible people who have attended the morning session in batch 7 uh, are more acquainted to this content people who have joined a fresh may not be able to relate to this part so well but then i can discuss in detail also if you have any questions do raise your hand bhaiya just i want to know one thing as you say as you said there are material unit and conscious unit and self is a conscious unit and the body is material unit as we know what i would like to know many time this is a quite a clarification i re- i am expecting from long long time but i am not able to get it that what happen generally when the body leaves it uh, the conscious unit which is remaining as it is because it's a conscious one and therefore what happens to the conscious unit is it remain in the space as a summer unit or it will take the uh, entry in other body or what happens to that conscious unit after the uh, leaving the body from the human beings this clarification i would like to know see whether the self coexists with the body or does not 
it is very much there in space every yeah. unit is there in space only isn't it yeah. it will remain in space that is the yeah. selection of the self whether it wants to coexist with the body or not and with that selection then again the availability of the body has to be there yeah but when the body loses what what happens to the conscious in itself whether it will because it is not destroying no what happens to that is see, it even, even now as... even now if you see when you are there with the body what is happening to you see if i am able to see myself coexisting with the body right now i can see what was there with me earlier what will happen to me in future so if i observe the present moment how i am coexisting with the body the rest becomes clear to me yeah presently also you are not a part of the body yeah that is there right you are not a part of the body you are coexisting with the body so yes. how you are there you are presently in space only yeah yeah, okay. yeah. since you have a body associated with you so through brain you are interacting with the body isn't it yeah when the body is yeah. not there you are not able to interact with the body that's yes. all but you are very much there your activities are very much there even now you can see that there are moments when you do not receive any information from the body or you do not share any information to the body isn't it yes 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 so even now you have a choice that while coexisting with the body you are not dependent on the body for your existence but it's a temporary th- it's a temporary arrangement rather but once the death is there then there is a permanent uh, separation of the body from the uh, self unit then what happens yeah but you remain that- you remain self organized you remain energized you still are related not through the body but you still are related so observe yourself coexisting with the body right now i will see that your existence is not dependent on anything outside you you are very yeah. much there so but that clarity one... yeah that clarity will help you understand the present the past the future otherwise because... whatever i say will only remain a set of information for you yeah yeah yeah, yeah. because uh, one of the incident i was uh, explaining with uh, one of my colleagues in the college regarding the space and units and all these thing then uh, he uh, understand up to that the uh, units are there conscious units are there material you know he asked me what happens if the you said that the self is a conscious unit and the body is a material unit then what happens after the body leaves the human beings then because there are number of see, uh, let me let me let me respond to this yeah i can take a lot of time see we start by sharing some kind of a story that the body is yeah. there the self is there and you know, existence there and becomes a kind of information what is essentially yeah. required is to initiate the process of self exploration in the other in yeah, place yeah. of putting forth so much of information we can start by exploring one self so if you see in the workshop also we start by talking about relationship we start by talking about the need for physical facility then the yeah. inquisitiveness in the other helps one understand otherwise it becomes another set of information we have been listening to so many stories so much of information is there already with us it becomes another yeah. set of information and it we just store it in our imagination this does not let us investigate observe the reality yeah yeah that so we can yeah 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 understand. we can avoid uh, yeah taking up discussion in such a way that it becomes another set of information rather we have to initiate the self exploration yes yes okay bhaiya thank you good morning good evening to all um screen is very clear uh, why did you not ai city or nap put the mandatory to all the staff uh, right now i take the long leave and resign the job but even though Oh, I have translated the yoga chui content and everything. That is a content is nice to reach all the uh, staff members first, then understand the students properly. Then the school students also attend this program. Then only the hundred percent success will come. Yeah, due to some lack of communication, already pointed out the certificate purpose they have attended and here yeah, we are. in the regular way we are not unable to attend this what is the reason is uh, in the classroom after the two hours i have a class i will go to the class and attend this 
the gap is there even aict itself give the permission to two to three days all the staff there is a mandatory course to the students already you have pointed out the uh, anna university also pointed out the uh, uh, two in the second semester is a mandatory for the students uh, this is a credit course my question is sip itself you have pointed out as a given 21 days you have informed all the student attend what is the inside the content what is a what to be done and what not to be done the student must clearly understand otherwise they come and go and do that activity the program is yeah, not yeah. please please uh, share the question sir the, my question is, question my question is this is a mandatory course for all the staffs yeah is it so what is the question my what question, is the question? Uh, my question is uh, AICT put the uh, notification to all the university vice chancellors. This is a mandatory course for all the colleges staff. You want to make it mandatory for all the yes. staff? Yes. Okay. 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 So let me say that exploring with first of all, let me appreciate that you have taken pains of. Uh, I'll or taken this effort for translating it into various languages. This is a very noble kind of an you know, effort that you have made. Secondly, see, mandating can be done anytime. What is basically required is to develop more and more resource persons. See, even if in a single college you make it mandatory, but you do not have faculty who are able to resolve the other faculty members and staff through self exploration then the effort goes in vain. So essentially, the whole thing boils down to develop our own competence. See, intentionally, every human being is sound. This is something that we can see very naturally. But they are helpless because through education, their competence has not been built up. And we are not able to even share the content in such a way that they can develop their competence. So we have to own that responsibility that I have to develop myself in such a way that I can share the content, develop the process of self-exploration within the other, so that the other develops right understanding. This competence is at the core. Rest everything can be done. See, making anything mandatory is not a big thing. One can make, but ultimately we have to see the outcome. And even mandating something you know, is sometimes counterproductive if the outcome is not there. So people will ask that you mandated it for 10 years, what has happened? How many people could transform themselves? So that can be done anytime, but the issue is the transformation part that we have to take up, that we have to touch upon seriously. Then only the program is going to be successful. And essentially, we are not trying to change the society. We are trying to help every human being reach one's natural state, isn't it? And for this, we have to develop ourselves first. We have to uh, awaken the activities in block B1 first. Isn't it? If I'm able to awaken those activities, I can see very naturally my relationship with the other. I can see very naturally how the harmony in the society can be ensured, how the education can be made more harmonious, effective, efficient, and a fulfilling to the human being. So this is at the core. So you have to own that responsibility, isn't it, <laughs> Nachalam Ji? Yes, yes, yes. I can understand. If it yes. is mandatory, that is not a, only the problem to solve. Uh, harmony yes. is uh, from naturally acceptable to everyone. That yes. is why we have planned and uh, achieved the goal. All the UHC content in the morning and uh, every section is very nice. I also attended the based on the time availability I can manage. Uh, if the face-to-face -face workshop is very good to get and capture the ideas very clear. I attended two sections in UHC to RVS College and Anna University. G, G, G. Uh, there are some more hands raised. So let me take some more questions. Nice, nice, Bhaiya. Bhaiya, my doubt is that, see, I'm, this is my first weekly meeting. Uh, I just uh, finished my three-day uh, introductory FDP yesterday. And uh, in the year of 2020, I completed my online uh, UHP1 FDP in Bhaiya. And I seriously wanted to <clears throat> attend all the session. And Bhaiya, please help me with one thing that is, uh, I'm a bit 
confused with the terminology which are used in this uh, uh, particular uh, modules. But yeah, could you please explain uh, the ex simple example of existence, coexistence, unit submedial in space, so that I can instill the concepts in my mind, because I'm a bit confused with the terms. See, existence has no similar reality. Existence is existence, isn't it? So, uh, example, by example, like uh, self so and the are... body. Human being is the uh, coexistence of self and the body. Like that. Please give one example so that I can digest the points. You are an example. You are a human being. Yeah. Yeah. You have a body. You are there. Mm. And mm. you are there with the body. You are an example. Yes, I am an example. Each human being is an example. So, so can I assume that existence in the sense all living beings and non living beings on no, the earth? No. First of all, talking about human being, you can observe mm. yourself. Yes, isn't it? Examples only mm. let us look at the reality, the point yes, of brother. the reality, isn't it? Yes. yes but brother. ultimately, I have to observe the reality myself as a pure observer. Okay. So you have to observe yourself. Are you the mm. body? Are you a part of the body? Are you any special activity of the body? Or you are different from the body. You are the consciousness which is not a part of the body, which is coexisting with the body. You have to observe yourself. Then you only, then only you can understand the coexistence. Then only you can understand the consciousness. So you have to observe. This example can only help you analyze certain reality in your imagination. But the right understanding will not be ensured by that. Baya. Ji. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Can you hear me, Baya? Did you get my answer? But yeah, I'm a bit confused. Please make it clear. Please clear. No, are you getting my voice? Just a minute, Baya. I just am. Please, sir, continue, Baya. Yes, sir, you are audible, sir. No, no, I am okay. audible. I, but yes, you are audible to me, Baya. You are audible to me, Baya. Yeah, but I think you missed my answer. So I'm saying. Yes, yes, there are some uh, voice, I mean, uh, technical problem glitch. Yes, Baya, now I'm listening attentively, please. So what I am saying that examples can only help you analyze the proposal. Okay? Yes. But ultimately, you have to observe the reality by yourself as a pure observer. So yes, you have yes. to observe yourself. Mm. And you are a self coexisting mm. with the body. So observe yes, yourself. Sir. There is no mm. need for any other example for self. You are the self. Yes, but you have to take any other example. So observe yourself. Observe what is there with you, what is there with the body, how you are related to the body. Observe it as it is. Similarly, my when you talk about is, the existence, my point is existence in the sense all living beings are non living wait, wait, wait. beings. I was talking about the human existence in the sense myself as a part of uh, this entire uh, big unit. Is it so, Baya? Is it the are sense? You, are you getting my voice? Yes, sir. Yes, Baya. Yes, Baya. Yeah, yeah. So I was explaining about human being. Now, similarly, talking about existence, you can see that units are there. Hmm. You are a unit. Your body is a yes. unit. There are units around okay. you. Isn't it? Okay. So you can observe yes, the units. Mm. You can also observe the space. Mm. Isn't it? But you have to develop that competence. Now, mm. there is no example of space. Space is all pervading, isn't it? There is no yes, example. Yes, of that I understood. No need. That I understood. Yeah, yeah. So you have to mm. observe the space and you have to observe how you are there in space, how you are energized, self organized, you know, being in space, how you are recognizing the relationship, being in space. So that in that sense, object. trees are also units, no, Baya? Trees are yes, also yes, units. Yes, yes, yes. Plants not? are also units. Even stone yes. is also unit, Baya? Yes, why not? Have you attended the workshop fully? The introductory yes, workshop? Baya. Yeah, three-day workshop. I, I got finished yesterday, Baya. Okay, okay. So what I suggest is you also... The resource person. Yeah, So I suggest that you another you attend another workshop, maybe online. Because in hmm. three-day uh, workshop, generally the content comes... Uh, within a very short stipulated time and you get less time for exploration. So explore about it further. There are also lectures available on YouTube and you can also attend workshops online. So that so you mean you, you are but yeah you want me to add, again attend again uh, five day online uh, UHV yeah if you if you can do that that would be better. Okay buddy okay buddy. Yeah, yeah. so when we say existence is coexistence this is the meaning that the units are submerged in space. Now going further, you can see that the units are limited in size while the space is unlimited. It has no limit. There is no boundary to it. 
but the units are limited in size. Now I mentioned that you are a unit and the body is also a unit. So can you see that you are also limited in size? What do you think? Are you limited in size or unlimited? You can respond in the chat box. Are you limited in size or unlimited? Yeah, a little bit of analysis also help you conclude this. So I am here sitting in one part of the country. You are somewhere you know, in a different place. So you are of course limited in space. You are there at a certain point in space. You are there at a certain place. I am there at a certain place. So me as well as you are limited in size. Even every self is limited in size. And you are there with the body. When the body, when you are a young child, a very small child, the body has a certain size. So you were also there of a similar size. Now you have grown up, right? So the body has grown up. So you are there coexisting with the body with a similar size. And when you look at the shape, then also you can see that the way you change the shape of the body, you are also changing your shape like that, isn't it? Because you are there coexisting with the body. Think about all these things, then that will give you further clarity. So every unit is limited in size, be it consciousness or material. But the space is unlimited. It is there inside the earth. It is there on the surface of earth. It is there outside the earth. It is there everywhere. Inside every planet, outside every planet. There is no limit. There is no boundary to it. Every unit being in the space is activity and active. So it is an activity within oneself. You can see that you are having activity within yourself. You have the activity of desire, the thought, the expectation. Isn't it? And you are active with other units. You are active with your body. You are active with other human beings. The material units also are active. Isn't it? So whether the unit is material or consciousness, every unit is an activity within oneself and active with other units. Now, if you look at the space, you can see that it is no activity. The space is no activity. But it is there at the base of every activity. To begin with, you may find it puzzling to understand. But the moment you start observing it, the moment you start analyzing it properly, you can see that, yes, it is there at the base of every activity. And going further, you can also observe it as it is. Now, the units are of two kinds, material and consciousness. The material units have only the activity of recognizing and fulfilling, while the consciousness has the activity of knowing, assuming, recognizing, and fulfilling. These material units are temporary because they are limited in size as well as time. The consciousness units are limited in size, but not limited in time. They are continuous. Even if the body is not there, you are going to be there. So you are continuous. I am continuous. When you look at the space, we can see that this is unbounded in time and space. So the temporary units, the material units are bounded in time and space. The continuous units are bounded in space, that is size, but unbounded in time. And the space is unbounded in time as well as space. So that's how we can see that there are three kinds of realities in the existence, in the existence, temporary, continuous, and ever. And when I rightly understand coexistence, I'm able to see the three realities as they are and the way they are. So these three kinds of reality, temporary, continuous, and the ever. So take an example. Say if the material unit is there, it is temporary. It is an activity, of course. And the body is an example of that. The sensation that I get from the body is also an example of that. The physical facilities are there as temporary units. But the self, that is I, am a continuous unit. And the space is ever. It is there everywhere for all time or place. So the material units are impermanent. The consciousness units are permanent in time. And space is permanent in time as well as space. Are you able to see this? You can respond in the chat box. 
जी गिरीश जी आई सजेस्ट दैट वी नीड नॉट ड्रॉ एनी काइंड ऑफ सिमिली हियर लाइक अ कैनवास और समथिंग वी हैव टू ऑब्जर्व द स्पेस एज इट इज तो बिगिन विथ वी कैन ऑब्जर्व द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू यूनिट्स तो व्हेन आई ऑब्जर्व द यूनिट्स आई कैन से सी दैट दे आर सेपरेटेड हाउ दे आर सेपरेटेड बिकॉज देयर इज डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू यूनिट्स तो आई स्टार्ट बाय ऑब्जर्विंग द स्पेस एज अ डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू यूनिट्स ग्रेजुअली आई एम आल्सो एबल टू सी the effect of one unit on the other i am also able to see the very relationship based on which the units are interacting i can also see the definite organization in every unit the space being at the base of it and then further i can also see how every unit is submerged in space sir just uh, uh, just wanted to get some clarification uh, like consciousness is limited and continuous it's understood but how it is limited just i'm failing to understand sir if you can help me where are you residing right now i'm um, at home where is your home i am bhuvaneshwar so you are in bhuvaneshwar but you are not in delhi yes <laughs> so you are limited in size isn't it yeah size it is i'm limited yeah so that's how so in place or size or space as you mention it you are limited i am also limited i am sitting in greater noida here i am not in bhuvaneshwar but the space is there in bhuvaneshwar as well as space is there in greater noida okay but i can think of delhi i can think of space of delhi yeah so when you think of so something part of consciousness yeah so when you think of something the content of imagination in includes that particular thing it's not that you are there so you can think of the indian freedom struggle you know 100 years back but it doesn't mean that you are there 100 years back your imagination includes that event which happened 100 years back similarly you can think of something in the future it doesn't mean that you are there in the future yeah you are present right now and you are thinking about something so your thought can include something back and forth in time here and there in space <clears throat> but doesn't mean that you have migrated there you can think about delhi but it's not that you are in delhi you are there in bhuvaneshwar you are thinking about delhi and the next moment you can think about new york the next moment you can think about you know, your neighborhood so this is something that we are thinking about it's not that i am existing there okay so self is always limited you mean to self say... means you 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 just see ah, yeah you are there in one part of the house you are also not there in the entire house sitting in one corner of the house isn't it in that is room. body yeah yeah okay that okay. is body But and you also ah yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you are there uh, with the body ah uh, yeah yeah i know when you sometimes we sometimes feel that as per uh, no the practices like we are part of limitless energy limitless power and uh, in the part of infinity uh, this is what we give affirmation to uh, sometime uh, in that con- context uh, i feel uh, the self is also should be uh, unlimited and, but we are you now able to touch to some limit and that's why it is restricted or how I... see we keep oh. on using oh. uh, yeah, yeah. We keep on using certain phrases, you know, but we have to understand the meaning also. Yeah. So you have the potential. It doesn't mean that you know, yeah. the existence is getting shifted to something else. You have the potential to think. You have the energy to think. Okay. Okay. You can take. Yes. But potential limit. But our body limit to think. Did I really do think? Yeah. Yeah. Our voice is breaking, sir. Yes. Uh. i have understood the the concept of uh, these three things the body self and the space but i wanted to ex- uh, present my understanding about the previous slide because it was about uh, submergence in the space so when we uh, think about ourselves and close eyes for some time like 10 minutes 15 minutes like that we feel uh, one with the space you know we uh, definitely not uh, feel the body at all it, uh, 
like you know this was the exercise that i gave to my students just to close the eyes and then try to feel that you are uh, feeling one with the space and then you are not able to feel the body at all unless you force yourself to feel the body so uh, is is this understanding right uh, bhaiya to understand how we are feeling submerged with a space but when we close you know open our eyes and we try to focus our, on our body and certain activities need body as an instrument to uh, do certain activities like you know to hold the pen or whatever like you are we are using it as a instrument but uh, for otherwise if you want to feel that submergence so we can as well feel that when we close the eyes and when we try to understand what is self organization like our body itself is self organized this uh, itself yeah, let, let me respond exit. let me respond i got your question yes. so yes thank you see this kind of exercise may also be leading to some kind of conditioning so in place of feeling like this one may need to observe so first of all we have to observe oneself Yeah, when you try to fill with the space, then maybe in thought, in imagination, one may try to condition oneself, you know, to remove one's attention from the body and see something. So that could sometimes be misleading also. So better to start observing the reality as it is. Start observing the body, you know, as a pure observer. Start observing the self as a pure observer, and then going further at a later stage, one can also observe oneself being in space. to begin yeah. with it may not be very helpful and you know? it may also lead to certain maybe false conclusions because people have read so many things about space okay about yeah. certain uh, simile which can be synonymous with space and then they may uh, think about certain things which they have not observed they have just assumed so that will be misleading also so i'll suggest that one needs to start observing oneself if you look at the exercises we started by exercise 1 in the morning session by observing oneself and there also the feeling the imagination and ji bhaiya ji so that could be i think a better way to go ahead ji bhaiya ji bhaiya yeah this was just to uh, make them feel that you know it is because it is, as a teacher it becomes difficult for us to sometime make them understand how self and body are two different things which are coexisting so i thought this could be one way but anyways i will follow uh, yes, yes. what you just said and i will improve upon thank okay, you so much okay. yeah so better to observe oneself different from the body in place of observing the space to begin with ji bhaiya ji bhai thank you nice some more hands are raised but let me proceed up a little bit and then i can take up some more questions so we can see that there are three kinds of reality in space the impermanent the anitya the permanent in time that is nirantar continuous and the permanent in space and time which is the ever the temporary the continuous and the ever now going further we can see that this coexistence is ever present ever effective isn't it and ever expressing also being ever present as we explored just now we can see that it was there it is there it will be there for all time all places you know this is very much there so it is ever present a natural conclusion from this is that this is existence this is not a creation so it was never a time when it came into being and it was not there and it will never be a time when it is not going to be there because this is ever present this is a simple let's say corollary or conclusion that comes out of this and being in this space we can see that every unit is energized active self organized recognizing the relationship and fulfilling similarly we can see that the coexistence is ever effective the principle of coexistence applies to every reality there is no unit in this existence to which it doesn't apply isn't it right from the smallest atom to the biggest unit the planet or the galaxy everything is there in space and it is there in coexistence there is no unit which is a uh, deprived of this the coexistence which is ever effective and similarly we can see that this is ever expressing the coexistence expressing itself is expressed in four orders the bio order the physical order the bio order the animal order and the human order in the physical order we can see there are units right from atom to the heavenly bodies in the bio order we can see there are units from cells to the human body 
in the animal order we can see that the self is there the body is there and the awakening of the self is to the level of selecting and testing primaphasy and in the human order the awakening of the self is to the act of selecting testing and analyzing imaging also and the potential to know is there the need to know is there and that knowing has to be ensured so all this we can see is an expression of coexistence only the way the units are changing their form and property the way the units are retaining their innateness natural characteristic the way the units are they are in four orders participating with each other the way the units have a different a definite inheritance a definite natural characteristic and all this is there being in space so that's how we can see that the coexistence is ever expressing when we talked about the nature we had discussed these four orders of nature and now we are trying to see how these four orders of nature having their definite innateness natural characteristic inheritance is are there being in space so we can see that in these four orders the coexistence is very much visible in the physical order we can see the interaction among the units how they are interacting so the activity is very much there the activity the every unit being active within itself and participating with other units other units are interacting so they are active and through the activity they are interacting in the bio order we can see that there is not only interaction but also pulsation this pulsation is also an activity but this is an add on so there is pulsation the contraction and expansion is there by virtue of which there is respiration there is growth there is participation in terms of nurturing and worsening so the submergence expresses itself in the bio order as interaction as well as pulsation now we can see that the in the animal body the same thing is to be observed interaction and pulsation in the cell we can see the sensitivity the sensitivity is there so you can recognize fulfill and the recognition and fulfillment takes place with assuming so the self in the animal body the self uh, in the animal order recognizes its relationship with the body recognizes its relationship with other units in the nature based on assuming and you can see that with this sensitivity there is a will to live and there is a definite natural characteristic in terms of cruelty and non cruelty isn't it this awakening prima facie up to the activity of selecting and testing this is something which we can observe in the animal order in the human order we can see that in the body a similar kind of thing is to be observed the interaction is there the pulsation is there in the self the sensitivity is there but it's not limited to sensitivity there is also no ability in the self for example in the meeting that we have right now we are trying to exercise this no ability we have so many questions we want to understand the whole existence a very natural kind of inquisitiveness is there in every human being every human being be literate or illiterate of any age you know any gender any part of the world wants to understand wants to know the reality and once the self gets assured that yes the reality can be known okay then there is a natural effort to understand the reality why because we have the knowability within oneself now we can see that through the process of self exploration one can ensure right understanding right feeling right thought and thus the knowability within me gets transformed into knowledge the right understanding and for that only we have the process of human education sanskar so the submergence the coexistence is expressing itself in the four orders in this manner now going further we can see the whole existence as it is 
so the nature is there submerged in space every unit in the nature is limited in size is active within one cell is active with other units and being in space it is self organized energized recognizing the relationship and fulfilling it while the space is unlimited it is no activity <clears throat> now the units are of two kinds material and consciousness and to understand this we have to start by understanding the consciousness the more i understand the consciousness i am able to understand the material also so the material units which are temporary have only the activity of recognizing and fulfilling the continuous units are the consciousness which have the activity of knowing assuming recognizing and fulfilling each one of us being a conscious unit the material units are organized in two orders physical order and bio order the atom is the smallest unit of the physical order atoms combine to make molecules the molecules combine to make molecular structures and these molecular structures are available in two ways lump and fluid so the lumps remain retain their shape and size while the fluids flow and these fluids organize in a particular manner to make a cell <clears throat> which becomes the smallest unit of the bio order the cells combine in a particular manner to make a plant the cells in a different way combine to make an animal body and the cells again in a different way combine to make a human body so the cell the plant the animal body the human body are all there in the bio order the animal body coexisting with the consciousness makes the animal order the human body coexisting with the consciousness makes the human order by ensuring right understanding and right feeling one ensures the activity completeness within oneself the activity become complete this is something that we had talked in detail in the previous to previous lecture and with right understanding i am able to ensure definite conduct in my living so that ensures conduct completeness and this is the scope of development in the entire existence the development is there only in the self and since the self of the human being has the knowability so the development has to take place in the human order itself it is a linear process not a cyclic process while in the rest of nature we can see that cyclicality is there isn't it you make a big building and the building goes back to ashes isn't it a seed grows into a plant plant grows into a big tree a banyan tree and the banyan tree goes back to the soil so this kind of cyclicality can be observed in the material units but there is no cyclicality with the self with the consciousness in it so we can see that other than the self of the human order rest is in harmony since we have the knowability and the knowledge is not ensured so we are not in a state of rest we are part of we are disturbed we are in disharmony because we want to satisfy our imagination it is not getting satisfied unless the right understanding is ensured so we have to ensure the right understanding so only this part is remaining in the entire existence on which the effort has to be made so that the right understanding the right feeling gets ensured so that definite conduct is ensured and all the complaints grudges problems you know which we can see in the society is because the right understanding is not ensured though the potential is there the intention is there so for that only we have to work on education this is the role of education sanskar through right education sanskar one is able to develop the self this is something again that we had discussed in detail in the previous to previous keynote lecture that on one hand i have to work for realization of coexistence on the other hand I have to work for my participation going up to universal human order and human tradition isn't it so this is the development of the self but isn't it maybe the case that we are active only in the lower part the block b2 okay active primarily at the level of selecting testing or analyzing comparing or even imaging but gradually we have to awaken to the higher activities of contemplation understanding and realization isn't it this is the development that has to take place through education so we have to make effort for that now if you look at the present state we are trying to move from lower activity to higher activity going in this manner at some point of time with our own meticulous effort in a definite direction as a pure observer one is able to realize the whole existence as coexistence isn't it so 
we are there in this journey at some juncture some point in this journey one has to locate oneself in this journey where am i today in this journey to what level i have been able to awaken myself am i able to contemplate on the relationship if yes to what extent am i able to understand the reality of nature if yes to what extent and then at some point of time i can also see how the existence is coexistence and this is realization so we are in this journey moving from lower activity to higher activity so one has to locate oneself in this journey we are all co-explorers facilitators of every other human being in this journey and once i am able to see that this is my development my progress in life then i can also see the role of body the role of physical facility you know in my this whole journey and with that i am also able to make a definite program for myself so one has to contemplate on the participation in the larger order to awaken the activity of contemplation one has to understand the harmony in the nat nature so that one is able to see the self organization the innateness as it is and going further one has to ensure the realization of this whole existence as coexistence so that we are able to operate like this initially we are trying to move from lower activity to higher activity at some point of time in, when realization is ensured then it this guides all the activities of the self and this definite organization this definiteness of activity within the self with completeness of right understanding guides our behavior work in participation so that we are able to see our role and participate in the universal human order and human tradition in a very definite manner one again has to see you know going by this manner where do we stand today but yes we are in the journey moving upward at some point of time which may take a lot of time also when i am able to realize the whole existence as coexistence then this may emerge so to sum up the whole thing i say that existence is coexistence that is some emergence of nature in space the coexistence is ever present ever effective and ever expressing it expresses itself in the form of nature and we all humans are there as a part of nature the role of human being is to realize this coexistence and to live in coexistence so this sums up the talk that we had today now i can take up some more questions with the availability of time ji bhai there is a question in the chat box uh... ji in this slide self is mentioned as unlimited unlimited in time not space or place the self is unlimited in time and uh, one more question by a uh, students question about why insects are in bio order than animal order and why humans humans are not in the animal order itself yeah so the insects we have to observe whether the self is existing with the insect or not now how to observe whether something has consciousness or not so one mark of consciousness is the activity assuming so one has to experimentally observe whether the activity assuming is there in the insect or not one thing second thing we can also see that to coexist with a particular material unit some part of the material unit has to be developed to such an extent that i can interact i can transact that part is called as brain so the brain is available there in the insect or not this is something that we have to observe now distinguishing from the animal we can see that i have the knowability which the animals don't have if one wants to put oneself in the animal order well and good then again we have to classify animals in two parts one which have knowability and one which do not have knowability so fine so if you want if somebody wants to place human order in animal order well and good but then we have to classify animals in two ways with knowability and without knowability yeah bhai mera ek question hai Uh, is human conduct definite can it be understood completely clearly yeah so definiteness means that when the conduct is based on right understanding and right feeling so that base can be understood the right understanding part the right feeling part can be understood now the expression part can vary from time to time so for example you have if i have to talk to some person who does not understand english so i talk in hindi or some other language which is known to me and the other also 
so that expression may vary from time time place to place individual to individual but the feeling part remains intact so definiteness of conduct means the definiteness of understanding and feeling the expression may vary yes okay thank you bhaiya thank you nice and yeah. yeah one more question can i put it bhaiya ji uh, as far as self is concerned uh, which is a conscious unit which is continuous in time and if we say it also exists can you say it also be there in space pardon as far as conscious unit is concerned ji so we say that is it is continuous in time ji and can we add it like is it also in space continuous in time and space see we have to observe even if you say something like this then one has to observe and a simple analysis can also be made to suggest whether this is true or not so for example as i was responding to and uh, one participant from bhuvaneshwar so like i am there in one part of the country you are there in another part of the country and so it's not that i am there everywhere it's not that you are there everywhere being in space i am related to surikant ji but i am not there where surikant ji is sitting you are not there where i am sitting so you are there limited in size i am there limited in size but i am related to you through space so we have to distinguish between this relationship and the being part if i am related to the whole existence that doesn't mean that i am there in the whole existence see every unit in the nature be it material consciousness is related to space to every other unit in the nature that doesn't mean that every unit is existing everywhere isn't it yes yes may yes clear may clear very clear nice yeah yeah thank you thank you very much may so when i am the self the consciousness uh before this came into this body it was in space now it is in this body and after this body is uh, gone it will be again in the space so can we say that uh, even whole... even now you are there in space so earlier you were there in space even today and this moment you are in space and even future also you are going to be in space and uh, even your body hmm. when it was not a body it was there in space but it was not a part of the body and the body also after cremation is going to be there in space only so everything is going to be there in space it was there it is there it will be there nothing is going to come out of space so am i inside the body or with the body or both inside the body and with the body you tell me i feel that i am inside the body also with the body <laughs> fine so let us continue with this and just keep on exploring now what does inside and with mean that is something that i have to look into so you are there existing at the same place where the body is there but you are not a part of the body now to suggest this reality whether you use the word with or inside it is your choice and uh, uh, even though i am saying that i am the consciousness i am an observer but i am unable to observe what is happening within my body like uh, my heart is functioning lungs are functioning but i am not able to observe that yeah so, even there you can see that maybe you are not able to observe your own activities also what activities you just observe so many thoughts you might have so many conditionings you might have which you are not able to observe okay that is belong to the mind that's brain but even inside the body also we are unable to see so many parts functioning inside yeah so i am saying that it's only a matter of your awareness and mind and brain again i'll say that are two different realities brain is a part of the body mind is an activity of yourself so you still have to distinguish between the mind and the brain and uh, scientists have uh, found out that uh, each cell also has got the brain on the skin which is covering itself so every cell is also intelligent they say when i am the self consciousness how is it that i am unable to see each cell in the body like kidney or liver etc see it's again a matter of our own competence to what extent we are able to see see if i am not able to see something 
it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist so it is a matter of my competence second thing uh, see in science the words intelligence memory you know, mm. uh, have been used in multiple ways so it's not that every cell has a brain every cell is active every cell is participating with every other cell if you term this as intelligence well and good then every plant cell is also intelligent every yes. physiochemical atom is also intelligent because it is making a molecule and interacting with other units so how do you define intelligence see if intelligence is utilizing the activity of assuming then there is no intelligence in the physiochemical units but if you remove the assuming part and look at the interaction part then you can term everything as intelligent one can say that this laptop is so intelligent i just press this mouse and it is starts operating in a particular manner but it's not intelligence in the computer essentially it is your programming similarly the plant cells the body cells they are all uh, energized self organized in a particular manner and if you call this self organized as intelligence then this becomes a different kind of story and uh, even the atoms atoms of hydrogen oxygen even each atom has got uh, so much of intelligence that that's what i'm saying the... see the word intelligence has to be properly utilized otherwise uh, we can term everything as consciousness we can term everything as intelligent we can term everything as having memory and then uh, the uska jo problem aayega the problem that emanates from there is that we are not able to distinguish into units for example if i am not able to understand the quest, uh, the consciousness rightly then you have a feeling that even to nurture my body i have to explore the nature because when i am eating some food which is coming from the plants one may feel that i am killing the plants i am exploiting the nature then by virtue of that thought also you have a feeling inside that to survive myself i have to explore the rest of nature so if i am able if i have to kill the plants why cannot kill animals if i have to kill animals why not kill humans mm. so these are various misnomers arising out of that so that's how we have to understand the reality as it is superposing one concept on another will lead to certain wrong conclusions and this is happening this is happening because the reality is not being understood as it is the consciousness is not being understood as it is and that's why this kind of over under otherwise evaluation is taking place so can i say that the atom's intelligence is depending upon its own consciousness no i never i never said that see that's what i explained you have to understand what consciousness means you have to understand what intelligence means okay atoms are unable to assume therefore they are not consciousness yes the physiochemical so, atoms okay